The objective of this topic is to produce quality multi-pass fillet welds and T-joints in the vertical position using low hydrogen electrodes with uphill travel. On a blueprint, the symbol looks like this. On both sides of the T-joint, deposit fillet welds with 3 8 inch equal legs using E7018 electrodes and weld each joint the same. In addition to your protective clothing and tools, you'll need several 2 by 6 by 1 quarter inch mild steel plates and 8 inch E7018 electrodes. Set up the constant current power source for electrode positive and set the amps between 105 and 120. Tack up a 5 piece workpiece and clamp it in the vertical position about chest high. Deposit the root pass with an inverted V motion. A true inverted V would have the narrow part of the V at the top and the wide part at the bottom. This is more like a V lying on its side, with the apex of the V in the root of the joint and the legs of the V extending along each side of the joint. The weld is made up of a series of small V's with each V about a half an electrode diameter higher than the previous. The work angle is 45 degrees with a 90 degree travel angle. Move up one electrode diameter from the bottom of the joint. Move downward in a diagonal about an electrode diameter along one plate. Up about half an electrode diameter toward the center of the joint. Down in a diagonal along the other plate. Up a half toward the center and so on. Moving up about a half an electrode diameter with each V. In real time, the motion is quite fast. You should feel the flux coating touch the workpiece as you travel. Keep the arc length consistent and make sure you push the electrode into the root of the joint to ensure complete penetration. Pause long enough at each toe for the slag to run off, making a slightly convex face. The weld should be about two to two and a half electrode diameters wide. The E7018 produces heavy slag concentrations, so the inverted V helps to keep the puddle visible so you can read it better and respond accordingly. Break the arc about halfway up to practice your restarts. After you clean the weld, strike the arc about a half inch in front of the crater, trace the outline of the crater, and resume the inverted V motion. Allow the workpiece to cool and remove the slag. The finished weld should be smooth and slightly convex with equal legs and complete fusion along the toes. For the second weld, center the electrode over the right toe. The work angle is 35 to 40 degrees from the left plate, with the same 90 degree travel angle. Overlap the root pass by about two thirds. Use your wrist to create a steady side to side motion moving up the joint in small increments. If the puddle sags, use a slight crescent motion. The finished weld should be smooth and slightly convex with equal legs and complete fusion along the toes. For the third weld, center the electrode over the left toe of the root pass. The work angle is 35 degrees from the right plate with the same 90 degree travel angle. Use an inverted V motion or a steady push and overlap the second weld bead by about one-third. The finished weld should be smooth and slightly convex with complete fusion along the toes. For the cover pass, start on the right toe with a 40 degree work angle. Use the same 90 degree travel angle and pivot your wrist as you move across the joint so you end up with the same 40 degree work angle at the other toe. Move up the joint about a half electrode diameter with each diagonal of the Z. The finished weld should be flat to slightly convex with equal legs and complete fusion along the toes. If your weld has pinholes or if your weld beads are narrow and convex, you could be using too long an arc length, traveling too fast, or your amps could be set too low. Alternate sides to minimize distortion, inspect your welds, and continue practice. <laughs>